In this video we're going to look at powers. So these are also called uh, indices. Okay, so you will have seen them um, such as 2 squared means 2 times 2 which is 4 and 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2 which is 8 and we could also have 2 to the 4 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 which is 16 okay so the number in the power the index so this number here tells you how many times you need to multiply 2 by itself. So if I wrote down what is 10 to the 5, then this is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So it's telling me to multiply 10 by itself 5 times, which is 1 and 5 zeros. So, 100,000. So, that's how uh, the index is used. Now, what you can then do is work backwards a little. So, you can say things like, well, um, write this down in index notation, or as a power of 4 then this would be 4 cubed. Okay, so 4 has been multiplied by itself three times. You could also be looking at things like um, 8 squared times 8 cubed. What would that be? Well, 8 squared is 8 times 8. Okay, that makes sense. And 8 cubed is 8 times 8 times 8. So if I multiply all of these 8s together, I get 8 to the 5. So can you see that when you multiply two numbers together where the base number is the same, we get 2 plus 3 is 5. And so the powers get added together. So if I wrote down something like 7 to the 6 times 7 to the 8, I'm not going to write down 6 7s followed by 8 7s, but this would be 7 to the 14. So the powers get added together. And in a similar way, if you looked at division, so if we did something like, um, let's say we had 8 to the 4 divided by 8 to the 3, then how you can see that is by doing 8 times 8 times 8 times 8, that's the 8 to the 4, divided by 8 times 8 times 8. Okay, so you can represent the division as a fraction. So we've got the four eighths divided by the three eighths, and then you can cross them off in pairs. And what you get left with is just the one eight. So eight to the one. And so a division can be seen as a subtraction of the powers. So if I had seven to the 10, divided by 7 to the 6, then this would be 7 to the 4. 10 take away 6 is 4. So when you're multiplying, the powers add together. When you divide, the powers are subtracted. Okay? So that is one of the unique features of indices.